bibbity bobbity bibbity bap I'm wearing a burger hat Welcome back to Hat and Time Today we're going to be doing the time rifts um, I got lost trying to find that one That time rift you can see up there So I restarted the recording So fortunately, I think I'll be able to At least have a, you know, better commentary as a result of being able to redo repeat myself it says immediately stuttering like a twat but yeah so as of this recording i've not edited together the collectible collecting video so there's that to look forward to as well i should have that done before i upload this one and uh, I skipped a day because I was hanging out with dickheads from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that was fun, but I didn't want to record after that because uh, one problem about introversion is you get socially exhausted, and especially me. My entire, like, for, on a professional level, I'm more liable to get, or I say professional level as in, like, actual psychiatry. Uh, my particular profile is known to get even more socially exhausted than most. Because it also doesn't help that I think I'm slightly autistic, but whatever. Being autistic doesn't make you broken, it just makes you special. <sighs> and I'll be honest. Um, I just started running on Dweller Mask platforms, not even really knowing where I was completely going, fully going. I don't know what words are. Eat my ass. Good coffee. It's, uh, it's called... What the fuck is that? Oh, hell yeah, it looks like a Yeti. Actually, it kind of looks like one of those goats. A roof stick... I don't care. See, everything else is like, oh, a rare sticker's in Alpine Skyway, but it's on the, it's on like, uh, somewhere not even close to the Goat Village. But now, since it's at the Windmill specific island, it tells me that, which is nifty. Almost looks like an, U it is an Ushanka. Nice. Nice. Give me that 34th pawn, thank you. Okay, now we're going to do the purple time rift, which I've never failed to get the draw the pages in the subcon purple time rift, which I think today is going to be the day when that that uh statistic gets broken, unfortunately, because uh, life sucks and then you die. And I forgot to check to see if my microphone is outputting at the right level actually it's a little bit quiet i'm going to turn that up by one thank you very much professionalism thy name is not dave we're just going to run this way now you talking about euphemism what <laughs> uh i can kind of see the glass shard thing from here callaway now, no one's asked me why I keep shouting Callaway, but unless I uh, answered it in a previous video because I like to divulge information for no obvious fucking reason, uh, Callaway is like a... basically makes performance mods or performance versions of Corvettes. I'm not a Corvette guy, that's just... in my brain, it's like, you know, move forward quickly, therefore... Callaway performance question mark? I don't fucking know. That's a hat. Huh. And those are gears. What the hell is this shit? I mean, I'm gonna take a wild guess that it's because of the the time rift just like did something. Is this what all the time rifts were supposed to look like? Where they well, you fucking wiener, I couldn't see it. But, like, were all the time rifts supposed to, like, distort reality and then they just didn't do that? That's a little bit of a bugger. 
Now, I've been here during the collect thought I didn't even notice there was a hat on the totem pole and that everything was just kind of weird. Uh, sleepy subcon. I remember this. It's a very calm and relaxing uh, platforming challenge. No threats, no debts. No pets, so I hope you're not lonely. <laughs> Immediately turn around and go looking for stuff. I say no threats, but look at that. We got Raccoon Jimmy. So. I mean, who knows what my commentary is going to do right now, because I didn't get that much sleep last night. What the hell? Someone fucked up that texture. I didn't get that much sleep last night, so I'm a little concerned about that, but at the same... Oh, climb this. No, you fucking can't. Yes, you fucking can. Do not... Do not... Do not jive with... Do not... Uh, book and via. And now I've become one with the architecture. Wow. Okay, I'm not even going to comment on that. Except for she, you know how much cat hat kid really likes this crane. That much. All right. I am fucking stuck, and I can't change hats. And she's also she's still. Oh, I can change hats, just not through the menu for some reason. Uh, may I ice hat? Okay, well I broke this motherfucker. The hell. Well, this has been amusing. God damn it. How did I manage to glitch freaking... Ooh. It was bound to happen eventually. Uh, was that bit in a... Uh, uh, what was it? Ah, it's not really that, 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 that. that was a Twilight Bell. Where I got fucking stuck. Now you want to activate the subcon well and not contractual obligations because your load times aren't going to be any different. You spawn in the same place. <laughs> well, same area. You're actually a... Wait. Ah, uh, same place, just different angle. So, uh... I just got to restart this motherfucker now. But, uh, once we're done with this i'm gonna actually struggle a little bit to remember some of the stuff we have to do because i know it's like you get one for beating mustache girl and then there's the final time rift um which we'll do separately like i'm probably gonna dedicate an entire final video just to like the final bits because the final time rift is the longest it's not it's not the most difficult, but it is, it is the motherest of the fucker. It is, it, and I've only done it once. Like, I've played this game at least half a dozen times, um, but when you factor in that I've only played through Yakuza Metro and Arctic Cruise now three times, and I've not bothered to 100% this game all, you know, half dozen times, you sort of run into the, you sort of run into the situation where I've not done everything, so. I've not done everything multiple times. But you can't stand on that. You can stand on that, so I'm going to use this as my method of, I heard like pitter patter, is there another hat kid in here? Yeah, maybe it's just my steps echoing around the freaking dullard brains. Yeah, I see that up there. I came in like a wrecking ball. They say pride comes before a fall. Yeah, just check behind everything. Look at that. And it's deep. Well, nuts. 
Oh, double nuts. All right, so we're gonna get a slightly elevated platform and jump up here. Congratulations, you are the winner. Here's a cookie. Oh, fuck you. Now, I really gotta be careful. Somewhere around here, there's not only paintings, but there should be a heart, unless this is one of those dickhead time rifts where they legit don't have any hearts. Look at this motherfucking comfy chair. Oh. She looks so concerned. Of course, I would be too if I was this close to death. I'll have that. I'll definitely have that. Oh, you fucking funny. Ah, oh, you fucking funny. Okay. Looks like you could swing on it. I just... You can't! Okay. Um, six... Missing three. And there's a very distinct reason why I'm checking the sides of these, uh... Towers. What are they called? I want to call them Rotunds, but that's not the... Rotunda? 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 Rapunzel's freaking tower. Well, they call it a tower in Rapunzel, so... And that was written back when people actually gave a shit. Aha. That's the kind of shit we're thinking of. Which, I don't know how you're supposed to get that unless you have the magnet badge. But then again, it would not surprise me if there's aspects of this level and others where there's some. Where you have to have a certain badge and you just have to sort of know you need it. And I don't know if you can swim in that or if that's ice. It's probably ice. Also, these towers fall down. Because, uh, gameplay mechanic you'll never see again. I want that heart. I need that fucking heart. Plus, there's a thing down here. Now, fortunately, I know where the last one is. Maybe not in specific location. I just know that it's basically... Get up there, please around an, it, there's an area like this and i think i think we're actually done here weirdly enough yeah we can continue on to what i believe is the last bit so yeah i definitely know where the last one is here maybe not squids why are the squids here well Frick a diddle do. I mean, were those subcon enemies that they just put into the Arctic Cruise, or did they add that in with the Arctic Cruise? Because the hell is that? Oh, it's a plant. <laughs> right. And uh, unless you're observant. Other, unless you swing the camera around, that's really your your only hint that there's something down here. Like this. Wow, I can't see shit. I hope you can. Also, here's a joke. It's a large, heavy book titled Proof of Ethical Consumption Under Capitalism. The pages are all blank. I don't dislike you for your politic gears for breakfast, but please don't add politics to games that are supposed to be for fucking children. Alright. Well, I say for children. This game got a teen rating on the Switch because of blood and some other stuff. Or animated blood, I should put it that way. And yet, the PC version, which has higher fidelity graphics and is completely unchanged, and I believe... Might be misremembering here, but I think the Switch version actually changed some of the graphics to be a little less graphic in places. And yet, the PC version has an E10 rating. The Tale of Queen Vanessa. Once upon a time, there was a really... Oh shit, that's the Vanessa's dress. Huh, I unlocked that in a different uh, save file through the Death Wishes. Once upon a time, there was an anime couple. 
She was friends with all of the birds and the bees. But then she saw some uh, her dude talking with a, a really cute redhead. And she immediately went full tsundere mode. And she stabbed the bitch. And then she cried to him and locked him away in a basement where he fucking died. And she uh, lost one of her eyes because she's short-sighted and has no depth. Fucking basic bitch. I don't want that. That's not that's not particularly great, but fuck it, why not? Uh, slightly fancier version of what I just projected. Hey, yeah, I got a rose. Mm. Actually, we can just go to the free. Ugh. Getting stuffy again for some reason. Ah. Pardon. All right. Uh. Now, fucking what? Because you. So I've done. Ah, shut up. Man, I don't remember. Damn it, damn it. Three dollar crab cakes. Because I know we did the Rumby, like, the Rumby Factory was, or getting 100%ing Rumby Factory was part of uh, the collectible video, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, got all those. This is where that stat screen would come in handy. But I don't have that because fuck it. <laughs> Actually, it'd be my it'd be my luck that there is a stat screen and I've just never found it. Uh, and I, I know I've gotten all of Yakuza Metro, but I'm just need to double check. And I keep hitting every wrong button, and I have the wrong hat equipped. Uh, everything's done. Congratulations. So... Wasn't there a... There may have been something on Battle of the Birds that I didn't do. Out. And got both time rifts done on Spaceship. Of course, I don't think there's anything on Battle of the Birds that I didn't do. In fact, there it is. Like, that's the last one. Uh, and I'm a hundred percent certain we completed Mafia Town. I mean, I we're going to the Arctic Cruise. Part, part of me thinks that maybe there's a time rift on the very final level as well. Uh, I missed. But... Uh, I don't want to think that, but that may be the case. Oh, and I forgot to check to see if the damn... Uh, I forgot to check to see if... The badge seller here had any sort of weird, unique thing. Because it is technically a DLC chapter, and... Ooh, stretching! And they, and they kind of had some unique stuff sometimes. As soon as we do this, we'll go and check the freaking badge seller, which... You know, I should have done, but I completely forgot. And I'm sure you'll want to see it. Oh, yes. Quality content from the... Dave! Oh, yeah. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Got a lovely little thumbnail there, but shit. Cutscene! Shut up. Fortunately, I'm not a total dingleberry. I remember where the time rift is. I forgot where the time rift is. I was right the first time. That's a dweller mask. Got it. Freaking. Laura Mibsum. 
Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Fuck! I hate this one. This one fucking sucks. Four, five. Oh, okay, okay. We're, we're on the right track. And don't worry, at 20 minutes into this video, I guarantee freaking T you, this one's probably going to take 20 minutes. And while... <sighs> While it's not, like, the most difficult one to complete, as in get all the crowns you need, and then just waltz to the exit, everybody hates this one because 100%ing it, there are some platforming bits later that are absolute garbage, like, in terms of the just the level of play that they want you to achieve now in terms of it being the arctic cruise requiring 35 timepieces it almost makes sense that this time rift would be the most evil because like it's it's the one that has the highest barrier to entry if you get to this point you've played the majority of the game and have probably done all of the levels to some extent in fact i think in order to even get to 35 you do essentially have to play the entire base game and most of nakuza at least some of nakuza metro which i would remind you nakuza metro is not even that difficult of a stage it's just uh wait am i already there it is Yakuza Metro is not even that difficult. It's just, uh, you know, it's a fun platforming challenge. And I cannot believe I wasted the heart there. Because I can almost guarantee that I'm going to need that. And I can't, you don't even have time to get your bearings on this. And there's nothing there to collect those. Not entirely certain if there was something out of view or not. Okay. So, we're only now good enough to go on. But look, there's all of that shit over there. <laughs> uh, like, this is the size of, like, a normal stage. And then, like... This is equivalent to, like, the Twilight Bell. But it's not. It's just a time rift. And there's shit all over the place. So I've never 100%ed this. I've never gotten all the pages and stuff because dying means... Bitch. Why are you here? Did you enjoy your cruise? Good lord. But if you so much as die, you have to redo everything. So every page, every crown, every... Everything. And also, we got these guys, which, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't even know if we faced them in any great capacity. So, I think it's because we didn't, we didn't fight the conductor. But, no, every, every sounding bit of this you have to redo, so... You make a mistake and fall to your death? Well, shit. You, uh... Ouch. You miss a page and have to come back and find it? Well, you gotta get them all. Although, I say you have to get them all. I've never tested to see if... It, like, saves your page collection and then you can just come back and get the one that you know you missed and then it would fill out. That may be how it works, but I also don't want to do any one time rift more than once because sure i've i've extolled my extolled whatever i have shouted my love of this game from the rooftops but you want to know what the easiest way to not love something to have to repeat it and get tired of it so i'm trying not to get tired of this game so if i ever feel like not playing it then i guess i'm just not going to play it which makes sense to me. And replaying this level probably more times than any other time rift, just trying to get everything. 
is just nothing short of an absolute headache. Ah, well, that's not the wall we're supposed or that's not the thing we're supposed to climb, I guess. Uh and another thing, there's like weird bits. I would even argue that the architecture of this level is just a little weird. Which it's supposed to be weird because it's like a it's like a time rift and those are supposed to be kind of strange. But even still, what the fuck is this shit? That's for a crown, not for like a page. You're expected to do some pretty wacky shit to get crowns. And then you're supposed to do equally wacky shit, if not even more wacky shit to get the pages. getting hurt on minor enemies like that. Yeah, you can bet that that's caused a few almost rage quits before. Uh, stuff over there. We can get there and get back, I guess. I mean, it's a fun platforming challenge sometimes, but then it just throws some stupid shit at you, and we've not actually gotten to the stupid shit yet, but you can kind of get an indication from that spinning spire of death and torment from back there. I don't know why the starfish make that sloppy squish noise. It's like I'm stepping on meat. Uh, I guess that's a shortcut. And I'll be really fucking pissed if I somehow manage to get really far in this, like, practically get it 100%, only to then, like, miss one thing and then look at the video and see, like, an obvious page somewhere. Which is entirely possible, because I don't know what that is, but when you, when you play a game, your focus is different than whenever you're like, uh, watching a game. I knew it! I knew there was something like that. I couldn't remember where... What the hell? Oh, it's a crab. Mr. Krabs, the front door is right here. <laughs> oh, that's a dweller mask. But then you have to cancel it out. Okay. Okay. I am just as surprised as anyone that I actually survived that. But hey, had I not gone and dilly-dallied, would have missed that, that page and wondered where the fuck it was. Oh. Criminy Jiminy, all right. Now to recall my bearings and try to figure out where I was going before. Wait, we were up there, then I went down there, and then we'll go up here, we went there, 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 and... Wait, I know we were down there because I climbed up those... spires before. Uh... Pretty sure we were just over there. Three, two, one. I'm guessing that's it. We're only halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway there! Oh, that's not the sprint hat. They look, in my defense, they look kind of similar from the back. All right. So, make a brief observation around the back. Using the, the occlusion to... Occlusion? Ah, fuck it. Whatever. Uh... 
Oh yeah. And there's even treasure chests that have this shit in it as well. And boy, does my brain say that I probably missed one. I mean, how are you supposed to know that's what's happening? That's my question. Like, how are you supposed to know that's what's happening until you just come across it out of the cold blue? Ugh. Yeah. Guess we're going this way now. Oh, that's a moving platform. Oh, that surprised the hell out of me. Oi, but... I can only imagine the kind of headache it takes to do a 100% speed run with like one hit hero. Alright. Useful. Legitimately, I had no idea where I was about to end up. Oh, it's this part. God damn it. I'm glad that doesn't just fall into the cold, cold blue. Alright. Uh, we want that. And I. That's way too far. But I guess we're just going to take the hit because the game didn't want to let me grapple after that. For oh, God damn it! Fortunately, whenever you die and restart, obviously you're going to have a greater knowledge of the level than the first time you started it. So we're going to get here faster. And I say when, because unless we find a heart within the next five minutes, I can pretty well guarantee that I'm going to do something very, 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 very ill-advised and then just end up dead. Crap! Oh, no! Okay. I wish the paintings or the drawings or whatever also gave you like a heart or something so you had an even greater incentive to hunt them out or hell maybe the crowns could give you health because that actually would be a pretty damn good incentive right about now to just go hunt down all of those fucking things i don't know if that's the path we take to get to that particular one or not Fortunately, oh, we can get over there that way. Nice. Oh, don't fuck me, please. Oh. Okay, does anybody have health? Anybody have extra health? Because I do not want to have to redo this under any capacity. Shit on me! I'm out of here! <laughs> Scared the fucking Christmas out of me. Okay, um... We plundered that ship. And we went around to the back and plundered something else. Have we plundered all there is to plunder? I believe so. Fuck the shit. And we arrive in the worst part of the entire level with one health. You can see how much I adore the And we have to do a wall run at a fucking weird angle. Oh, hell's bells. We need one in order to win. Just one. And this is what I mean, what I meant like in the past when I mentioned that like there are aspects of this purple time rift where I eventually like just playing this just said, fuck it, I'm cutting my losses and getting the hell out of here. 
because sometimes you legitimately have to wonder if something's going to kill you in this. <gasps> there's a health. There's a heart. There's a heart. If these fucking hurt me, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Okay. Starfish! Oh, boy. <laughs> the emitter looks like a pulsating nipple. Pulsating nipple is also my new username on Xbox. Not really. Don't go looking for it. <laughs> I don't play on Xbox. I play on a different Microsoft system. <laughs> All right, so we've gone round, which is nice. But what I'm concerned about is the bullshit just over here or over. Oh, but when I say over here, I mean, just pick a direction. There's going to be some bullshit. I mean, I don't even know what to do on this part. Just look at this shit. And I know it's a dweller mask and stuff, but it, it can't decide what color palette it wants either. Uh, boom. There's warning, fire fucking hurts. Oh shit, no! And thus we uh, fully demonstrate what in the hell. Is there any oh, motherfuck? All right, here we go. Fortunately, um, the second time's always faster than the first, as it is for most things, sometimes. Uh, we can get to that from a different angle, not gonna take the long way. Actually, I think I have to. Yeah. I can do that. It's not safe. Okay. So if I'm not talking very much, screw you, I'm concentrating. This this requires a lot more concentration than most other parts of the game. I'm gonna save that heart. So ow! One interesting detail about today's setup is the fact that I have my racing wheel set up right in front of me because I didn't move it. <laughs> so I could just start driving Hat Kid around with a wheel and pedals. Actually, I wonder if those work. What does this do? Nothing. Yeah, the game just flat out doesn't even acknowledge the fact that the wheel exists. Fun. All right. <laughs> Although, if I could uh, assign different hats to different gears on my gear shifter, then uh, that would be kind of funny. It's like, to, to engage sprint hat. Activate, or to activate the sprint, to wear the, oh, fuck it. To wear the sprint hat, activate, engage six gear. I was gonna get that sentence down eventually. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not too concerned about the owls. I'm gonna see it from a mile away. Good lord. Those glasses are really working. Um, see, I'm terrified of actually getting through and like getting through the like the, the really difficult bit only to then discover, oh, you missed something, stupid. But also, fuck this shit. I could come back and do this on my own time. 
or you could go get the game yourself and then just show me how bad I am at this by, you know, completing it first try. Fucking MLG Pro Ga Does that look like a burger to you? Yeah, take the long way. Instead of, you know, just rocketing up a freaking... Thank you. Okay. I'll fuck you. I'll fuck you. And fuck that text too. I do find it slightly funny how the game will just slight We'll slightly introduce the bullshit without really letting on how bad it's going to be. Ah, uh, wait, it's this way. We're still on this first bit. Rather annoyingly, I was able to get this right the first time, and yet we're having issues now. I mean, how bullshit is that? You fall to your death after getting your ass burnt, so you just lose two health because. Because the level designers decided that old Dave needed a bit of a punishment for being Dave, I guess. And away we go! Now, because there's a risk of missing it, I didn't mean to do that. Smack it in the titty. That worked. I should turn off the emotion wheel because that was. Uh. That was uh, quite the test. down to the freaking butthole so we can there's two ways to get that heart i think i think you could do it this way yep nice okay where are we going now uh we've been there been over there been around here and i think that's where we came from i think Well, that looks like a shiny, so we're gonna go over there. We start on the ground level, I think, so yeah. I don't recall having done this bit yet on this particular attempt. Okay, who's texting me? I think it's my sister, so. It's definitely a text I need to read, but at the same time, uh, I'm busy playing video games. Uh, not for a living, because I'm not making any money off this shit. <laughs> and who would want to? Who, who who would want to pay for this? Like seriously, what the hell? You'd ha you'd have to be stupid to want to pay for this shit. Okay, I'm not entirely convinced you can't get up there, so... Kiss my bottom. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't care. This is what we're doing today. That's not the ice hat, is it? That's not it. I emphasize that I typically don't even craft the time stop hat because it just crowds the wheel. And it's not even enough for like eight, so it's not like you just go bam or like go directly left or directly directly right. You have to do like little nuanced movements. And I know there's 
two. Oh no. Oh, that's a wall. Nice. Oh, wait, we could get up here. We can do something here. What is the point in this? Okay. Now, where's those fucking pussy cats? Because I want to smack them. I'll show you what's new, pussy cat. All right. Uh, da -da 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 going down to get this crown. Probably unnecessary, but the the fewer I have to get in the final run, the better. Okay, well, I guess I'll just take the starfish. I guess I'll fall off the starfish. I guess I'll run away from the baddies who are probably enclosing, who are probably approaching my butthole. Uh, two, four. <sighs> and you know, I was seriously thinking about, like, oh, potentially playing Mario Sunshine or Mario 64 after this. Yeah, I'd love to play Mario 64. That'd be freaking great. You wanna know what I'm not gonna do? Mario Sunshine, cause, oh, shut up. Because uh, that's, that's just pain incarnate. And I remember as a kid, loving Mario Sunshine. As an adult, it can go fuck itself because those secret stages, which are like basically all of them are like this hard and then but they're shorter so i suppose it's more merciful all right so note to self which i think i do that every time like i forget about that one around the, the corner there and then i come back to it after dying and then i see it and i'm like oh now i'm gonna remember it it's just not an aspect of this level i keep i can commit to like permanent memory I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. I'm not afraid anymore. What does that do other than let you walk off the edge, presumably to your death? All right. Um, we'll get the picture first because if all else fails, I can risk it for the chocolate biscuit and just hope that I can do the... Uh, the baptism of fire without taking too much damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this has a rope. Gonna need me brewing hat. Gonna need my hamburger. Burger hat, don't fail me! Shit! God damn piece of motherfucker! You can actually just blow it up from the rope, I think. I love that I almost went through that whole thing without taking any unnecessary damage, but you know, God damn four messages! I don't give a motherfucker. Whatever it is, it's probably about as stupid as anything I ever sent. Could be a funny meme. I don't fucking know, but I don't fucking care right now. And I'm glad I don't care about monetization because <laughs> I'd get that. That's just out the fucking window right now. Three, two, one. Chicken banana butt parade. All of that for a crown. My kingdom for. Okay. Yeah, this place just doesn't have any hearts. That's the... Oh, this... The hateful, hateful, hateful level. Actually, there might be a heart, and I'm just too stupid to find it. Hey, 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 what you gotta do, ass? Oh, he's gonna do that. Oh, fuck you! I'm out of here! Can't get me up here, bitch. Anyway. I mean, this is the fact that those cats are there as almost like a bonus fuck you. There's multiple ways of doing this. So, 
could do it the way it did the first time. But I have decided against it. Gotta mix things up. Gotta keep this marriage fresh. That seems like an awful idea. Let's just keep doing what we always do. <laughs> not gonna chance it, not gonna chance it, not gonna chance it. Alright. So we're gonna do the wall run of doom, and I've overshot that a few times in the past and said bad words. Huh, of course. And says bad words as ending a statement regarding my life may as well. Lee's ice hat, thank you. Let me fucking ice hat this bitch. Ugh. See now I'm all like nervous and weirded out, and so my my brain is like, not goddamn. I'm about to negate the entire point in getting this fucking heart. Oh, there's two of them. Would have had four. It's not even a greed problem. I mean, you could call it a greed problem, I suppose. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hey, hey, hey. Give me that photo. Yeah, I'm not even going that way. Fuck you. God damn. It's not instant. There's that brief charge up before you go slamming into the ground. Okay, mouse control, where's the last painting? It's not that, it's not that, it's gonna be up there. And I know it's up there because I've seen it. Actually, that may be it. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Again, you have to unwind it through using the mouse um it's like going through life without your glasses what the fuck is this shit hang on we're gonna cheese ball it slightly because the depth of field is really fucking with me here okay so that over there what is this That's a crown. That's a load of bullshit. I don't know. That's a crown. That looks like an upside down. Well, that looks like a top hat. Um... If I could get to a higher place. Why didn't I just do this to get that freaking picture? If that's a stable platform, that would be an excellent place to get like an, an overlook on everything. I'm going to need to dwell a mask. What kind of? What is happening? What? Oh. Shit kept moving and I didn't know where it was. No! It's like Shadow of the Colossus just letting go for no fucking reason. Well, okay. In Shadow of the Colossus, there is a reason why he let go. Or why he lets go, and that's because, uh, 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 you let the motherfucker fall. So, I'm out of hearts. So... If I fall, it cannot be due to burning. Otherwise, we're gonna be redoing this entire fucking thing again. I get fucking crap. I need the dweller mask. I just shit my pants and it worked out. What did you do today? Okay, um... I mean, this is probably the best lookout I'm ever gonna get out of this stage, so... Let's cheese ball it. 
Um, cheese. Whoops. Cheese balling. Center it above hat kids so you get maximum range. Crown. Bullshit. That's going to be a crown. I can tell just by how sh the, the rate of shiny that it is. They don't even render the top of that, so it's not going to be hidden up there. Um, that's not double shiny or anything, so they're not like hiding anything behind it. Yeah. Damn you in the ass. All right. Let's... Oh, shit. I don't even have enough crowns to end the... Oh, wait. I think we opened it. If the door is open... Yeah, okay. We have an out. So I'm going to try to avoid fire for the time being. Oh, I jumped without looking. I am so glad that was there. I'm, I'm just hoping I'll find it. I'm, I'm hope. Look at that shit. Look at that fucking bullshit. You gotta jump onto that, like, perfectly. Oh, that happens! Goddamn mother... <gasps> oh, invincibility frame. Okay. Um, on tonight's episode of Fuck This Shit, I'm Out. We're out of here. Like, fuck this time rift. Fuck it in the ass. That is it. I'm done. I am fucking done. What was that? Oh. You can jump on it. I mean just is there a chance they're hiding the last one on the final on the final thing please sir uh, may I have tiny page I'm so hungry not really fuck this shit let's get out of here I'm out of here in fact America hamburger oh I said hamburger burger I showed him. Fuck this shit. Lost at sea. Once upon a time, there was a young motherfucker. He wanted to go do something, so he graduated. And then he said, I'm gonna go and fucking do a thing. He had a crew of seals. The seals were idiots. Years later, they went and did a thing. And then, ah, someone fucking died. And then he became an abusive alcoholic. Oh, fuck. Anyway. Fucking metal! Oh, hell yeah. That was like, looks like the Demon Hunter logo. <laughs> or the thing, skull. <laughs> Well, hibbity bibbity bibbity bop. I mean, <laughs> there's a I don't I don't know how to tell you this, Mr. Stag, but there's a hook on your face. Yeah. So, uh, for all intents and purposes, yeah, I'm never coming back here. Fuck that shit. If I was crazy, I would just record myself doing that over and over and over again and then showing my eventual victory. But considering um, I'm not that much of a dumbass, 
You're not gonna do that. 217 pawns. We can almost buy another burger hat. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And I've said before, this is probably not gonna be the last hat in time video, or the, even after I beat the game. It may not necessarily be the last hat in time video as it were, but yeah, we've only got one part left before that is it for, you know, the main game. And then we can go and try a little bit of Vanessa's Curse, a few community levels, and then I'm just going to put the game to, to bed for a little while. And I think that is, I think that's a pretty good way to go out. It's just to kind of show everything the game has to offer. You know, time pieces, everything like that, and even the, the, the parts that nobody wants to talk about, like Deep Sea, because fuck that thing. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I am the Dave signing off. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time. Uh, check out my burger. And my skills.